Hey guys, let's get the disciples here. <laughs> and today we have the, the long awaited based combo video. So, first, I want to give everyone a huge shout for all the, their views and engagement. It's been a while since we had this one deck profile that like generated so much fuzz. So, I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. Uh, I'm recording this on the Sunday, so on the Sunday of the 20th. So this is just after the Chel Chelmsford Regional. Chelmsford? Yeah, Chelmsford. <laughs> I'm off with English stating names. Which I won with this deck. Uh, so we're trying to get this out on Monday, so... Sorry if I'm feeling a bit tired, but I'm trying to get this out as soon as I can. Uh, I played deck again, it felt super cool. Uh, I felt even better than the first time, I feel I learned a lot. We changed uh, uh, Chaos Jeweler for Link Spider, but the extra deck is the same, the main deck is basically the same. Um, and the idea for this video is similar to the Lyrusk video, the Dragon Link videos. I'm gonna do like three hands, four hands, depending on how long they are. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you my thought process behind them, how I would play them going first, and explain some of the nuances the deck has. So, before we jump into it, uh, I need to ask you, are you subscribed? Uh, we, you know, like, we had a shout-out in the dev profile, and after that we got, like, 350 subs. So, thank you everyone that actually learned, uh, listened to the shout-out, it's gonna be edited here, you know, the, the shame graph with, like, 70% of you are not subscribed and shit. So, that's gonna be in. And, yeah, and I, I'm super excited, it's so cool seeing the content doing well, seeing you guys showing love, and it just makes us pump to do more. Uh, so before further ado, yep, yeah, I'm gonna give this a good shuffle, and we're gonna go into first hunt. Uh, hopefully I'm still in condition to play today, because I am pretty tired. I played 7 rounds of Swiss, and had to travel, had a very replacement bus. So it was a bit of a track, but regardless, it was fun. Uh, playing this deck is super, super fun. Uh, it's also fun, because I won the regional, and probably got second, with basically the same list. So based did go 7-0 and 6-1 in the regional, for a 13-1 win rate, which is kind of fucked. <laughs> But yeah, no, this deck is like very, very fun. Uh, if you are here and you, for some reason you haven't checked out the deck profile, there should be a card here or you can just check in the YouTube channel. I re really recommend watching the deck profile before watching this one because a lot of the concepts here come from things that I explain in the deck profile and I want to try to not repeat myself too much. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So first hand, let's see what we have whenever I finish up one. I also, as you can see, I took out the double these because it's such a deck. So, right, that's a good start. Ash, Bell, Right, should. Okay, so this hand is actually the exact hand that I shown on the combo video. <laughs> that is like the Right plus Hawk line. So I'm actually gonna show it, because there, there is one way to do this line, uh, which is slightly better into Impermanent. So I'm gonna show this one, which is what, the way I was doing it this week. Uh, and just so you guys have knowledge of it. Cool, All right. So we, we we start with, I mean, this is the same start as we did last week. We go for right, right? We right get uh, this. We set the faithful. It's a very similar hand. So you, you do this, then you go, you go Vish, you faithful adventure, you faithful adventure, add Draco back, you Draco back, uh, Find the Griffon, just take it already. Uh, it's actually really hard to find cards. Okay. Here's Griffon. And here's Draco back. So you add Draco back, then you face for second effect. Uh, this card is to add this, special summon this. You normal summon your tuner. So we're gonna normal summon the bow here. I mean, you could normal summon Ash, but Ash is just more generic. I think in the scenario, you'd rather keep Ash. It's rare there's a deck that bows better against the Nashes. Life twin, I guess. Uh, <laughs> you go to the string to Hulk. And then Hulk triggers, gets red rose. And here, like, very similar to what we, we've been through, right? Uh, I'm gonna show you how you can do the combo without Cupid pitch. Because you can also do this if, if your tuner is creation resonator, for example, and you still want an Harold. So you make Baron, your red rose gets rocks. Uh, if we can find it, yep, rocks. We rocks get basil. And then make Yazim. 
Basically, like, we did the whole play like protect from a hand trap, which is kind of cool. Um, we Baron Papiazzi. And Chumermer. Chumermer. Uh, go Marmar effect and chew tokens. So you basically make Marmar and chew tokens here. So Marmar gets a chew. You get chew tokens. And this is how you do line without Cupid pitch. I think someone else did a, a similar deck which is the same line. You make one of the tokens into the link spider. So this comes up in this match in this one as well. And then you go token and link spider and chew Dagda. Then you go Mer Mer Chain Dagda. So you get the token and you get the. Um, you get the. Uh, God. I mean, the artifact, the lands your scythe, depending on which one you make. Uh, I will find it eventually. There we go. Man, I'm tired. Uh, so you get this, right? And you get to go those two. Introverte. So the difference is you don't you basically don't chaos ruler compared to that line, but you get to end on Hulk. So because you end on Hulk, you can Hulk tag into Riser for Snow or the Strud, not, not the Strud, but you can do sorry Riser for Snow or Riser for Aquamancer. Uh, and you can also if you do go for Snow, you can this. So I mean sorry, let's just do the whole thing first. Uh, you get here right. It kind of forces Nib, so you get to save base with the Enable early for some reason. So you do this and this into Arclight. I mean Nib plus Imperm in this context. You get here and you do the vertical line, right? Uh, so yeah, you just done Fusion Dust. I'm not gonna bother getting the bricks. So you get here, right? So if this was Scythe... If this was Scythe, right? You go stand by face, same thing, you pop both. Uh, you go effect, you summon this back, and then during your opponent's turn, this X face, during your opponent's turn, you can go uh, Hulk tag into Riser, Riser sends no, so this becomes a tree, and then you can go Riser and Scythe into Savage, and Savage just equip the Dagda. So you basically get like a similar line from the, from the pitch line. Because you kind of get a follow-up piece by his no slash ruler. It looks like a slightly better thing, but I wanted the extra X space. And it still allows you to play like this. So I think you could, this is like the alternative. It's very similar to the line we went over, but I think since since we already shown that line in the last video, I wanted to go over this one. Cool things is that, yeah, it, is, it works if you draw creation with an enter as well. I think you still need to play Cupid Pitch because of the... Um, the just a world online, which I hope you get your showcase here. But it's cool that the deck has like uh, like multiple lines you can do. So if you draw one of the bricks, you can still do a line. So that's pretty nice. That thing was very good because it was like two going second cards, two right. Actually, two going seconds right, two 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 hand traps. We shoot and two right, so that hand was like very good going first or second. <laughs> just kind of fucked. Like going second, we go like hand trap right. We shoot the like all gas. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay. Hopefully, we get like a soul's hands or like something slightly different. Uh, I wanna, I wanna work my brain a bit. This one is just a, 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 an easy starter, an easy starter, so you can understand what we're trying to do. Um, Edward Shuffling time. Alright, so Enchantress, Souls, Red Rose Dragon, Teleport, Ogre. Very good hand, but the cool thing is because it's a very cool hand, we get to think a lot on how we want to do it. Because there's actually a couple of things to consider here. Like, uh, what's the best order? Because like when you don't want a hand that's like as fucked as this one, you kind of want to think like, how do I beat like three hand trap hands, right? Because you're gonna win if your opponent has like a sub no hand. Because your hands is insane. Because you had like the tree. Like the tree. You have like red rose, enchantress souls. And an extender. So from your point of view as a player, you're like, how do I lose this game? I'm gonna find like what's the lose condition? Is he having like imperm nib and slow rolling it? How do I beat it? What's the best way? So I think 
trick first thing that trick comes to my mind is like I I gotta get the Souls Draws. Uh the, the if I get the Souls Draws and I get Imp from Nib and I can end on DP plus Ogre, I'll probably alright. That's like what's going to my head. So first action is definitely just going Aquamancer straight up, especially because you might not have shotgun lance yet. So you do Aquamancer. If it doesn't resolve, we have uh, Souls plus Red Rose, which is full combo under Harrowed. If it resolves, we get to go for the right line. So we resolve this. I'm not gonna pretend they hand trap me because it's gonna be like very arbitrary. Uh, we can do it at some point. I have a bunch of replays from this on DB, so another video option we can do. Because it's especially relevant for this deck is like like going through hand traps and like through replays I get hand trap and explain how I played it. Uh, we can go that if there's interest on that. So let me know in the comments below. So yeah, we go welcome answer into right, we start with right. Usually when I start with right. Like more often than not. Uh, we get this and we get faithful. And then here you have a couple options. Um, probably th th there are not there is an argument that you want to start with red rose and play first and then you want to souls. I personally think you just want to get the souls value earlier because it's better into like double hand trap hands. The only downside is that you might draw rocks rose or basil, but in sixty the odds is pretty low if you draw it on the underworld. So I would go souls. Uh, dump illusion. Illusion. As I was saying, uh, illusion. There we go. Searching for cards in this deck is like absolute hell. Uh, Faithful triggers them, and we get Draco back. And then we go Faithful effect, we dump Draco back, we got Griffon, we Draco back attached to this, then we go Griffon effect. And then, then it's Souls. So this is like why Brave plus Souls is so strong. Like we literally are going to be on five cards in hand and we have a negate and we have a body. So we basically have a full hand the same as we started and we got a free negate and a body, <laughs> which is bizarre. Souls just feels so good. Like ideally here we want to draw non engine, we want to draw like Ashes, we want to draw Call by, we want to draw something that's like another layer of defense. So yeah, I'll go Souls and both of them. Into two draws, so we draw this Trudeau and we draw right. Uh, this Trudeau is actually not the worst because it allows us to basically end on snow as well. This hand is so good that I'm pretty sure we can end on snow in grave and we can end on savage with the Verte setup. If my memory is right. If my memory is right, it's always questionable, but we'll get there. So we start with normal summoning red rose for sure. And then we make Baron with those, so this is summon 5. But we have Baron to protect ourselves, and we're gonna have Rose shoot like stay in hand. So yeah, uh, this triggers. So Red Rose activates, and it should get uh, Rocks Rose. Uh, Rocks Rose activates, so we can get uh, Basil. And now I need to think a bit because I don't actually remember. Because I know you can make Savage. Like cause if we make, what was it made? If we go like Rocks Rose and this in Triazi, we Baron Pop Yazi, so we'd have this, we'd have Mare Mare here, we'd have a token, we go Basil, we make Pitch 7, we could make Savage, but if we make Savage there, we have no Link Monster. So you gotta play, you gotta start linking off before you play. I think. Yeah, that's it. So you gotta make Hulk before. This is the line that wastes Hulk if you want to Savage, if I remember correctly. I think. <laughs> Is it? Okay, but let's, let's think. I, I, I think it's this way you do it. Uh, you go those two into Yazi. We burn Pop Yazi. Uh, we get Mer Mer. Uh, Mer Mer loses one. So we get a token. And then we Basil for Rock Trolls. Yeah, it is like this, like this, remember. Uh, and then we go this and this. Into how? Because we gotta we gotta start feeding a link to the graveyard. Uh, so you go how? Can you go how to fact? That gets uh, any level three tuner works here. Uh, I'm just gonna go for bell. And then we marmar again. So that's true. Into the token. This and this makes cupid pitch. Yeah, that's it. 
So this one does make Cupid pitch. Uh, Cupid pitch uh, becomes a seven. And then we. So this is our hand right now. Okay. Uh, how do I do it now? Okay. Oh, okay. So these two. So this is why you need the extender. Uh, those two go into Dagda. Then you go Mare Mare Fact, chain Dagda. So that's the third token. So you get this, and you get the... Uh, you get the Scythe. I know, but this line doesn't work. Because this line misses a level 1 to make... This line misses a level 1 to make Creation Resonator with Finchu Herald. Because I could make Savage here. I know there is a way, I just can't remember it. Uh, I might need to rewind here. <laughs> might be rewind time. I guess we all make mistakes. Uh, I want to go back to this stage. Yeah. Here we are, I guess. Yeah, cool. Wait. Yeah, this is not on the field, right? Yeah, we're, we're basically like this. We have uh, Mara Mara and I have this. Uh, how do I do it again? Oh, I think... Is this a Link Spider line? I don't know if the extender can already be on field, because I think the extender is already on field, like it's here. It clogs the... Um, it clogs the Mara Mara zones. Because ideally, you want to make Hulk with the Mara Mara. We made tuner, tuner, we have three level ones too. Oh okay, no it works. It works as a living spider. That's it. Uh you make you make token token. That's it. Uh my brain fight Roman, I'm sorry. You make token token, we go token into spider, and then you make token again. So that's three. And then you go spider murmur. into Hulk. Yeah, this works, this works, yeah. Uh, effect of this gets the tree tuner. So this gets bell. And then uh, bell and token makes Cupid pitch. Uh, Cupid pitch against tree, so it goes seven. And then here you use the basil, that's it. Because you gotta do this order for it to work. Uh, you base all the rocks rolls back, you go this and this into... Do you two extenders on this line? Maybe you do. Yeah, I thought it was one. Fair enough. Uh, you make Dagda, you go pitch and token. I guess it's not true, because you're not linking the 8 synchro off. I guess this hand does it, to be fair. So it would go like this, uh, this will trigger. And this, this as well. So we get to equip the Hulk, we burn for 800, and we set the scythe. And then we... We search Creation Resonator. I mean, I'm just like thinking this, like, of course I don't need to do the Savage. I don't love doing the Savage because it plays into Super Poly. Because you can play on Super Poly by popping Verti with DP and only having one Dark. Like, it plays into Guilty Gear Feed, but people usually don't play that. Uh, this line ends on one extra negate, but plays into Super Poly. But here you can do it, I guess, if you want to. So you'd summon creation, you'd go creation, souls, into Hulk, into Harold, and then you go like the extra extender you have here, which is teleport, into Ogre, and then Ogre and Dagda, make Verte, and then you basically the same line, right? But you have a Savage here. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much I love this, I'll be honest. Uh, Maybe the best way to just play it is just not going for the Savage line and just trying to keep as many resources as possible. Because, like, if you resolve, like, Fleur, Herald, Scythe, I think you win anyways. I'm just trying to show, like, different things. Another thing you could consider doing with this hand, because you have the Strudel. The only annoying part is that you actually go to 2k life, because you play 4k to the Strudel and 2 for Vert. Mm. 2 for Verte. Is that you can go... The Strudel target the monster before you link it up for Hulk, and make Riser and Riser dumps Snow. Uh, so it depends if you wanna how much you wanna risk uh, the life points, but you do get your temps now, which is kind of cool. But this is like kind of beast droplets anyway, so I think it's kind of pointless. 
But yeah, that's probably how you play this hand. It's a bit scuffed. Uh, both origins are a bit weird because of Savage's requirement of having a Link monster in the graveyard. I think this left line works better if you have... Because if, if you're summoning Red Rose of Hulk instead of just having Red Rose. I think maybe that's what I was thinking. If you have like Hulk plus Extender, it might not work for Red Rose plus Extender because of the Link monster in graveyard. Because that line like didn't want to make Hulk. We're just making Hulk because we wanted to have a Link in Grave for... For Savage, I mean, could, could go Dagged into Verti, but I think the Origin doesn't work well. Okay, that is the turn. Uh, slightly scuffed, I'm sorry for that. But that, that gets there, it's a hand. I really want to do an Aurora online. Uh, I might just force a hand to do it. Because I think like I didn't even show them in the combo, and I really like the Aurora lines. Worst case, if we don't don't get one, I'll just show you what just helped us. Because I think it's very cool. Uh, okay. Let's see, because I keep drawing right, I'm sorry, I'm just that good. <laughs> so, draw Droplets, Enchantress, Veiler, Red Rose, this. Alright, I'm gonna cheat. I mean, cheat, I'm making my hand worse. I'm gonna swap Enchantress for Magician Souls. Just so we stop doing right hands. Because uh, this is a pretty interesting combo, actually. And there is actually, uh, there's an interesting thing to know about this hand. There's two ways to play this hand. One hand, one way ends on more things. The other way, uh, the other way is better into hand traps. So I'm gonna show you the safer way first, and then the ball to the wall way. So safer way is you go souls, uh, dump illusion, and then you normal summon red rose, and then you go those two into arc light. Uh, this triggers Red Rose, so Red Rose would get rocks. So here you set up a negate, it, it blocks Ogre and Veiler, which is kind of cool as well. So they kind of need like two hand traps from this point. And this one, it dies, it gets you another illusion. So it's free follow-up too. And you get to go Rocks Rose, Rocks Rose at Bezo. If we find Bezo. When we find Bezo. There we go, got Bezo. Uh, we exit Basil, we get Red Rose, Red Rose, Rock Rose, going to Hulk, Hulk effect activate, so that gets 0 0 1. Just need to remember this line. This is like the safer way to do it. Uh, you'd go 0 0 1 Hulk into Aurordon. Aurordon effect trigger, so we get 3 Aurora tokens. And then 001 activate, so it sounds back. We go 001 and token into pitch. And then pitch trigger, so pitch becomes a 7. And then we go. No, not 7, sorry, sorry. Pitch becomes a 5 because it gains the level of the tuner. So it gains the spot level. And then pitch and this goes and make savage. So this activates, so we get this, and we get Creation Resonator. And then you go Creation Resonator, summon itself. You go Creation Resonator and Arclight into Riser. Uh, and then you go Chainlink 1, Riser, Chainlink 2, Herald. So Herald will just search the... The illusion. In this hand, you kind of want your opponent to hand trap you because if, if 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 they can clear this arrow, your combo becomes a lot better because you have arrows, you have zones to do marmar. But here you would just dump snow. So basically, what this does is it's similar to the other end board. So this riser is a level three. So what you do is like use no, and then you can go this, this, and this token into Baron during your opponent's turn, and you can snow again. If I have like missing like one or two cards in some, but things like that because we have like veilers and stuff, so it's kind of like five interrupts in a way. Uh, you burn them from 800 from the Cupid pitch. So this is like the just Hulk play uh, if you don't get if you don't wanna if you don't have because it's not easy to go into the vertical lines if you don't have like a level seven because it makes it doesn't it's not worth to Hulk for Red Rose if you're not gonna get good value of it. You need like a seven on the field to get good value to go into Baron plus DP plus life. Uh, this hand, what you could do is you could just have Herald and you can just like make Dagda and make DP. So I'm gonna show that line as well, I guess. 
or that's from the same hand. I think those hands are like the ones that have most variance, are the ones you need to consider which line to take. Um, what other hand again? It was Souls, right? It was Souls Red Rose, if I remember correctly. Yep, Souls Red Rose, cool. Uh, we'll just take base about. Yeah, so uh, the other line is you Souls, you Red Rose, you make Harold. A couple other lines to be fair, but this is like the, the second like variant. You go into this and then you just go uh Rocks Rose effect, uh get basil, and you go basil effect. Get this. Uh and then here you have like how can I say this? There, 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 there are ways to do it. You can go into Verte and pass, which I don't like, I don't think it's optimal. You can go into riser and then do the same Hulk play, but it's like it ends on like it ends slightly different. It ends on Baron Savage with Snow and Grave with no Hulk. Sorry, Baron Savage with Snow and Grave. And yeah, and if you have an extender here, is where this comes in that you can go like those two into Dagda, activate like an extender, summon back set scythe with Verte, and then you have like you have a uh, scythe under Herald. But this play has like generates a lot less follow up than that line. So the Ardon line is what I like doing the most. I think that's how I would play this hand at least. Yeah, so that's a really cool Ardon line. Uh, I want to show how, how much time do we have? Twenty six. So oh, that's not that much. All right, I'll, I'll do one more like free hand, and then I can. I want to show the just fiber combo because I think this is the one people actually don't know about. It's a pretty cool combo. I, I came up with this one myself. I'm proud of that one. <laughs> Because it's basically cold twin without cold twin. <laughs> Let's just do another hand. I was about to say, you can see that it's pretty consistent, but now that I'm saying this, I'm definitely just breaking this hand. I'm gonna draw Dash or Celestial, Basil, Draco back or some bullshit. <laughs> but yeah, I hope this is like actually educational that you get to learn some of this. If you have some question about the lines I'm taking or you have some suggestions, just let me know and I'll, I'll gladly answer the comments as usual. But yeah, let's do the last like freehand. Uh, ogre, driver. Why did I drive my deck? Because I forgot to put in the side deck. Cool. <laughs> ogre, faithful, we should the ash, ash. Okay, it's an interesting hand, interesting hand. How do we want to play this? Actually, a very cool hand, you know? There are a couple, couple ways to approach it. Um, we basically have like two hand traps that are going to stay here. And we have a Tuner, an Extender, and Faithful. Faithful, just Faithful is a weird card. Mm, how do you want to do it? What's the best way to hand traps here? Ideally, we would like to like set on a gate and then make Hawk and end on those two, but I don't think we can. I think we're one short for that. I think the way that I like my first instinct would be going faithful, activate Vish, and then your faithful effect. So you'd go faithful and Draco back, and then you go faithful effect, you would add Aquamancer, dump Aquamancer. Then you go Aquamancer Fact and Sure Emissary. You'd go right into summoning a token. Sorry, there's not a token. I'll not make you guys confused. Uh, the, the that token is definitely Dark Anger. <laughs> so you go like this. You normal summon the tuner. And then here you have a bit of a decision tree. Uh, you can go option one. Those two into Riser, and then those two into Hulk. That's like option one. So you basically guarantee is no before you touch Hulk. Uh, and then like you just do the Hulk line. The awkward part is that the Hulk line is weird when you don't have Riser, so it ends on West. So that's why I don't really love this line. The it's this this line's a lot better if you're it's like both sides in a match where trying to token collector people, because at least you got to guarantee token collector. Because you can also go like Riser Dump Snow or Riser Dump Token Collector, and then, especially because your hand is so good, right? You can just go those two into Verte straight up, 
Because it's very contextual. Like, we don't understand, like, okay. So, I don't necessarily need to full combo to win every game. If I can just, like, do this. Dump a, dump a floodgate. Go those straight to Verte. And then on DP's no Ash Ogre, I'm probably alright. There's no reason, like, trying to end into... Like, trying to find a lose condition when your hand's good. So that's a wish point that time. Uh, the other... You have the far token, you have the Ash. Is going... How's it going again? Uh, okay, so you can go those two. Yeah, this is like the other route. You can go those two into Hulk. Oh, another cool thing, I guess. Uh, since we didn't use Faithful, because like, we actually didn't need to use Faithful to add Draco back, right? Because like, we're going to add that commander, discard that commander. Probably for the best, we shouldn't have used Faithful if we're going to go for this line. And when we go Hulk, we go chaining one Hulk, chain two Faithful just to add and chain block the Hulk. So it makes the combo way better in Trash. Because we got to do this, and then this summons the... the Red Rose. And then you get to go Red Rose Vish into Barrel. And then Red Rose triggers getting rocks. Uh, rocks gets Basil. And then here you have a couple options, like you can just, you, you could just uh, make Verte and end with Hulk on field. If it's not a matchup that you think Scythe is super important, otherwise the standard line would be make Dagda, Bezo chain Dagda, so you'll get Scythe. You'll get Scythe and you'll get the Revive and then you... And then you go those two into Verte, right? Like that's the that's the other option. So you basically have an agate plus scythe plus two hand traps. If they drop, let's see you, they're dropping themselves two three cards, you have those two and you have the DP pieces in grave. So it's pretty calm, I think. This is like the, the this is my, my impression on how I would do this hand. It's like probably the safest way. Because even if you get imperm on Hawk there, you still get to just go V shoot then Hawk into Verte, and you basically end on this. Right? It's not bad for like they have like five cards to break this. Uh, yeah, I think that's like the main lines you can take on that hand. The other option, let me just try to think of it, is you can go this there, this is there, this is here, this is here, and you have this, we have the ash, and you have the token. So we're basically in this position again, right? We're trying to decide which way to go. Uh, you have like the absolute madman option, which I don't like, but you can go. Which is just resolving normal Hulk combo. Which is going... Um, this... Okay, there's actually two options. Let's, let's go to both of them first, sorry. You can go those two into Hulk. And then you can Hulk summon Red Rose, and you can go Red Rose and Token into Riser. So it's basically the same line, uh, but the difference is you end on Hulk instead of ending on Baron, and you dump the and you dump Snower Token Collector this way. Uh, the only issue, like, there's not much point ending on Hulk from my point of view if you if you go Riser here. Because it doesn't really do anything. Like it can take into pitch, but it's kind of pointless. Uh, you you keep you could keep riser on field, but then it's a three, and you don't play a seven that you can summon snow and sink it off with. So I think this is like just worse than the other line. Uh, the other option was the other option. I'm getting myself lost in my train of thought. You go those two. Oh, okay, this does it. You go strange or Ardon. but this line loses like two one hand trap way more than the other one does. So I don't love it. So you go like zero zero one. You go those two into Aurora. You go Aurora into three tokens, and then you get zero zero one. Issue here becomes the optimal way to play this combo doesn't require this, so there is no point in us even activating right if we're gonna go to the root. I'm just gonna show you how you can do it and then clog a zone, but. If we were going for this route from the start, we just wouldn't have activated right. I'm sorry for all the take backs and everything, just because I'm trying to get my, my mind to it. So here basically, this is like normal Hulk combo. You go like this, um, assuming we didn't have this token, but 
it doesn't matter because here we would like tribute the token to pop this uh normally this token wouldn't be here and we would just go around and pop our own yazi so that means we get a level three token this is off just half by the way this works for any hand uh we have a level three token and you summon Marmar. this is the combo that i was talking about that i want to solve at the end because i actually think this one's cool so it's it's just off how, but you do need five monster zones because otherwise the levels won't match. Because you need to go Mare Mare three times, or twice, as the card says. <laughs> so that makes Mare Mare a level four, right? And then you get to go Mare Mare and token into Shooting Riser. Shooting Riser activates because the token's a three. It's the Rarden token. And if this activates, you don't know. Start this is a three. And then you get to go token and riser into cupid pitch. Cupid pitch activates, becoming a seven. Then you go token and cupid pitch into savage. And then uh, pitch one, savage two, because pitch is mandatory. We get to attach our Ardon. And we get to search creation resonator. And then creation resonator and the last token ends on arc light, which can also search follow up. So this is just of Hulk, you end on Arclight, Savage, with Snow Engrave. Which is pretty cool, it's one of the reasons I think you kind of need to play Cupid Pitch, because all of those Aradon lines are super awkward if you don't play it. Uh, you could play Cupid Pitch without Creation Resonator, but then like you miss an extra Herald in a lot of situations. And I still don't think Creation is that bad of a draw, it's just bad. <laughs> So yeah, like for example, this bar, this bar is pretty cool because you have this no as follow up because you end on like a considerable amount of grave. It's like three, six, nine, eleven, and then you have like 12, 13, 14, plus whatever hand traps you use. So you can probably get like choose no charges. This can also always be token collector because the four also works. So both side you have that option, and you get this follow up. So this next turn would like search the um, would search. Search for the souls, and you can like souls dump the fate from the Draco back and play from there. Uh, if we're go if we're going to go for this line again, I we probably would just have gone special summon Vish, norm normal summon normal summon the um, the Ash, and just go for this line straight instead of trying to go instead of summoning the the token because we can always summon the token later if like for example Hulk gets imperm, we can just go uh, faithful at enchantress dump enchantress. Um, make token, make link spider, make verti there. There's no point in doing the token before, it's just because we were doing multiple lines, so we started to do the token. But this is basically, yeah, the just Hulk line ends on this. If you have Hulk plus a monster on field, it ends on this with Aurodon here <laughs> and Hulk equipped here. But yeah, I think it's been lit. I'm pretty tired today, so sorry if I'm fucking up, but I hope this was helpful. Uh, I have a blast playing this deck every time, and I really hope this is, uh, this is helpful to more people. Because I actually think it's playable. Uh, it started a bit as a joke, but it has some traction, you can deny it at this point. I'm also very glad we coined the name, and Dazed became the actual name for the thing. Because that also started as a joke, but people bought it, so fair play to all of you. And yeah, subscribe to our channel, um, let me know in the comments what sort of stuff you want to see from this. I can do like replays or whatever i just need to know what you want to see because in the end that's what matters and yeah that's it for me uh enjoy your week bye, -bye.